Hi guys! So today we're going to be working on our next page, which is going to be information on the Void of Course Moon. There's a lot of information to go over, so let's get started. So I decided to cover this page with a gray craft paper. Um, I wanted to do like a mandala in the background and then have a text over top of it. So I first traced out the mandala that I wanted to do with black marker and then traced over top of that with the white acrylic. I was going to go with gray, but the gray marker that I had was far too dark and it would have really taken away from the text. So I'm using my tablet as a light table right now. I did have a little bit of difficulty with it switching tabs on me constantly, but it worked for the most part. So the moon's void, of course, is defined when a moon makes its last major aspect before it transits from one sign of the zodiac to the other. Um, now to break this down, the moon cycles through each of the signs of the zodiac at about 30 days and spends roughly two to three days in each sign. This is known as the moon's transits, which we'll get into in another video. Um, so when the moon makes its last major aspect before it moves from one side of the zodiac to the other, an aspect is when the planets are at a certain angle in relation to each other. Like there's conjunction which is an angle of approximately zero to 10 degrees. So generally they'd be sharing the same zodiac sign. Um, opposition is an angle of 180 degrees. So it would be at the opposite side of the zodiac. And depending on the planets, and the aspect, it could mean negative or positive influences. It's a lot of information to delve into. Now, Void of Course may last for a few minutes to even a few days. You can check online for charts of the Void of Course times for your time zone, to be sure.
So it's best to avoid starting projects or new relationships or even a new job during the void of course moon. You shouldn't sign any contracts or make plans. Basically anything that you want to have real world results in shouldn't be started until after the void of course moon. Um, things just never seem to get off the ground or materialize or they have to be redone. So it's it's a better time for meditation, yoga, self-care, or just generally going through routine things rather than starting anything new. So what I'm writing here is a definition of the void of course moon, which is when the moon makes its last major aspect before it transits from one sign of the zodiac to the next. This period may last a few seconds to a few days. Spell working should be avoided. This is a time of disruption when nothing works as expected. This time is best for spiritual concerns, sleep or meditation, yoga and self-care. Avoid starting projects, new relationships or employment. Make important purchases or hold meetings.
so there we have it guys our moon void of course page is finished there's a lot of information um, on our next section that I want to do I'm going to be doing the lunar transits and what the influence of each of the signs of the zodiac mean and we're going to be adding that page here right, so until next time